The first person I showed my last video to was my boyfriend and one of the first things he said was you could have at least cleaned the counter a little bit so I feel like I've done that this time just a little bit. <laughs> making a vegan parmesan cheese. Um, I mentioned this in my last video because I was going to make it then and then I didn't. So we're making it now. Um, this one is going to be a bit more of a challenge for my food processor, but hopefully not for my brain. It's still a fairly simple recipe. Whoop. And there's no cold drink that I can F up this time. <laughs> the only thing that could go wrong is the blending, as I said, and maybe the agar 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 is a substitution for gelatin and it's normally used in uh, vegetarian and vegan recipes and it comes from algae. Yeah, uh, I think that's very interesting. It's not the cheapest thing, but you normally only use a little tiny bit of it, so I'm thinking a bag of this goes quite a long way. As last time, I'm going to link the recipe down below if you want to try it out yourself. I can't recommend it yet, seeing as I haven't made it yet, but the, res the recipe we're doing today is from Green Evie. Green Evie. E-V-I. Evie. Green Evie. Yeah. Uh, she has a really great blog, like I haven't tried any of her recipes out, her photography, her food photography, it's very, very good. Everything looks super yummy and uh, she, she's done a lot of vegan cheese recipes. So maybe there's more for us to try there. This is all the stuff I'm going to use. We're going to blend the cashew nuts until they're, I guess, kind of fine, which might not work for me. So I might have to chop them up a bit first and then put them in the blender, but uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll get to that. And then we're going to melt coconut oil, and this is the tasteless stuff, the stuff that doesn't have an odor or a taste, uh, so our cheese doesn't taste like coconut. Um, and when that's melted, we're going to add the agar agar powder. It's powder, I think that's important. I don't think you're supposed to use flakes, they also sell flakes. Powder, yes. We're going to add that and then boil that for a bit, I think. Add that and the nutritional yeast and the salt. We're going to add those two things to the nuts then and then mix it all together, put it in a mold of some kind. Uh, I've made half a batch so I might not get like a full triangle of cheese and I might not have the energy to make a triangle shape either. I don't have that kind of mold but I might just pour it in a baking pan or something. Then it goes into the fridge for a while, and then you take it out, and then it's um, parmesan cheese. I don't know. In my head that was going to be one of those really slick shots, slick shot, like one of those really professional cooking shots where they take the something, put it in a pan and go plop. This tasteless coconut oil really is tasteless. They're not lying on the packaging. It doesn't taste like anything. Feels like eating hand cream. Welcome to the stove. I can't get the camera to be higher up. So this is what it looks like now, but you can see the pot at least. I'm going to melt my coconut oil and then I'm going to add, when it's melted, it melts very, very quickly. Okay, <laughs> lowering the temperature, ah. I can't really handle when things, I can't really handle when things go too fast in cooking. Yesterday, oh, paper, yesterday I made a really great recipe from a vegan mushroom pasta. Uh, that was inspired by Greco, my, one of my favorite YouTubers right now. And it was great, but you were supposed to put three, three things in the pot at the beginning at high heat. And I was like, oh, and then you have to get all the other stuff in there after like three minutes. And I just dressed around and some bits of onion got burned. And I wish cooking would just be slow. <laughs> 
speaking of which, it's melting. And uh, when I put this in, I need to whisk constantly, so no talking. Oh, this is me out so much. Why is it doing that? I'm lowering the temperature. We're cooking this for five minutes. It's stressing me out like hell. But I feel like it kind of it wants to stick at the bottom of the pan. It is really, really scary. It's smelling burnt. I don't know if it should smell burnt. I have this at like medium low heat. It said to cook for five minutes. I don't know exactly what that means. Should it be boiling? Should the oil be boiling? I don't think so. But I know that the powder is sticking and the oil wants to go everywhere. And the powder is not getting diluted, which is stressing me out. you missed out on while my phone was having heat issues was that I kept stirring that coconut oil frantically until I felt like okay this smells too much like burnt oil and then I put it into the blender and then I pull, put the nutritional yeast in and a lot of salt and then I pulsed it or well I don't know really what the difference is I kind of blended it with in tiny intervals I think that's what pulsing is and now it looks like this and now I'm trying to make a mold, which is interesting, because I don't know how much this is. Uh, and also my tape isn't working. I'll show you. Wait. I have this kind of tape, and it doesn't stick to baking parchment or baking paper. I don't know why I feel like it's very, very impractical, because I really want to combine the two. And I'm also trying to make a little fence here, because the sheath obviously isn't going to be this large, because then it would be very very thin so I'm thinking I'm going to put this barrier of foil somewhere into this uh, I just don't know where because I don't know how much mixture I actually have uh, be right back I'm getting better tape I have duct tape now it's at least holding together even though it doesn't look very pretty now I'm just going to pour or spoon the mixture into my mold thing and uh, put, it in, put it in the fridge and then I guess I'll talk to you in four hours. The mixture for this is really tasting very very good. I think it's because it tastes like salt. It's supposed to have pine nuts in it. I'm going to say that as a disclaimer. It's supposed to have pine nuts in it. I didn't put pine nuts in it. Pine nuts are very expensive. Ta-da! <laughs> the cheese has hardened uh, and it's quite crumbly in this in the way you want parmesan to be. It's not, it obviously doesn't taste like a parmesan made with cheese, made with cheese, a parmesan made from milk. Um, and I also didn't add the pine nuts that you were supposed to add, so maybe that adds to it, but it's very good. It's better than most store-bought vegan parmesans I've tried because they all have like a weird funky, I think they're trying to make it taste aged even though it's not aged and it usually doesn't taste that good. And you can kind of slice it and crumble it, as I tried to show. I'm going to try grating it, because I feel like that's a challenge. Uh, as you can see, you can grate it. This cheese is officially grateable. But I think that for optimum grateability, you, it needs to be harder. And I don't know, maybe the pine nuts do that, maybe you need to freeze it, maybe it needs a more, bit more agar-agar. But you can grate it if you really want to, but I think if you want to grate it then you should put it in the fridge and then ta take it out and grate it immediately because then you'll get the best result. And also we just um, 
in discussion with my boyfriend, I realized that this tastes exactly like um, peanut ring snacks. Do you have those? Um, they're peanut rings and they're salt and this tastes like nuts and salt. Uh, so it's good, but it doesn't really taste like Parmesan. Uh, better luck next time. <laughs> I'm going to put some of this on my pasta now. Because why not? Bye! Parmigiano Reggiano, may I